What's the hardest thing for you to comprehend about the American culture? How casual debt is. How easy it is to take loans and credit cards out in other people's names without their knowledge. That's why I recommend Bad Credit the new awesome product that makes your information useless to everyone, including you. I wouldn't call it new. Been using this plan going on 40 years now. Having two weeks vacation, or no PTO for most. In my current country you have to take two weeks of mandatory leave in a row. Including public holidays I get about seven weeks vacation a year. Edit. This got way more attention than I expected. Reading through everyone's comments it seems there is a huge gap between those with no to little PTO and those that get a decent amount. All of this is from the goodwill of the companies you work for, and not any federally mandated leave. Super rich televangelists like this Kenneth Copeland I learned about on Reddit. I'm American and trust me, most of us are aware that these dudes are scumbags. I grew up with parents who followed and sent money to him and the likes of him. They teach that if you give your money to the church, and to them, God will bless you with prosperity and you'll be rich. 43 years later, my dad is still poor. Still gives 10% of his money. My mom was listening to Kenneth and Gloria Copeland's healing teaching recordings as she died from cancer. Entering America from Canada is strange. Immediately I see billboards about abortion and religion lol. TBF I thought it was weird as hell that the Canadian side of Niagara Falls feels like a Vegas knockoff and the US side feels like an actual natural park. The park systems in the US are by far the best parts of our governments. Parentheses because I believe Niagara is a state park in the US. School mascots. Where I live, we just have teams and just play matches against people. In America, it's all like go East Town Eagles. Oh a gachaka, and there would be some person in a cheapo eagle suit spinning a basketball on his fingers or something. You would have a full dramatic cheerleader dance off before your match, we just shake hands and stare at each other. Sometimes mascots aren't even animals. My school's was a comet. Comet man was terrifying. Oh my god I finally get to say this to someone our high school mascot was the Vanguard missile. We lived near a Lockheed plant where they were assembled. Entree means main course. In the 19th century when French terms entered the US the word entree meant the meal between fish and roast. This usually composed of a lighter meat like lobster or chicken. When America entered the 20th century, they cut out the heartier meals like roast and made lighter meats the focus of the meal. The word entree carried on to mean the focus of a meal to this day. In Europe entree kept its origin of being the beginning of a the real meal. America kept the words place in a meal, while Europe kept the words actual French meaning. Till. That has always bothered me but now I'll feel better about it. Americans love French fries, cheese, and gravy, but poutine never took off south of the border. Always found that odd. Well yeah, we have chili cheese fries. I was going to point this out, or chili cheese tots. Zero tolerance rule. Who came up with that shit? The victim is the one who is foued. Either he gets bullied or he gets a penalty for defending himself. That's why if someone attacks you at school, you fight back as hard as possible. If you are getting punished anyway, you might as well earn it. Exactly. You're getting punished either way. Might as well make sure you won't get picked on again. A lot of people follow and worship politicians like their gods, flags and all that shit. In the UK it's universally acknowledged that we hate all politicians pretty much equally. I think this really started to change around the time reality TV became a thing. Now our entire political process is reality TV. I say this as someone old enough to remember when pretty much every person in Washington was a serious person. Also the assumption that everyone, everywhere is Republican or Democrat and knows about US politics. I've been called a Democrat or Republican as an insult by many Americans, even one who knows I'm Australian and have never been to the US. Edit, mind you, this is also the guy who thought it was insane that Australia doesn't celebrate the 4th of July. I speak as a Latin American, just setting that down on the table. I don't get why people think that using something from my culture or showing interest of Latin culture is culture appropriation. I've spoken to a lot of people in my culture about this thing and we all think it's alright. P.S. If you think like this I would like to talk about it and understand where it comes from, not mad I just simply don't understand it. I think people get cultural appropriation and cultural appreciation confused way too often. Having to tip almost everywhere. It definitely makes sense at some places, but feel like we have to tip at the most random of places these days. It's so fuing weird. I was in a souvenir shop the other day where no real service was given. It wasn't even a restaurant. 
I was literally buying some scented candle or some shit and sure enough, the lady flipped the screen around for me to sign and there was an automatic 25% tip added. I had to deselect it to move forward and complete the transaction. We can use social pressure to earn more money is annoying but it's hardly without precedent. Your healthcare system, so complicated and expensive. And people going bankrupt because they get sick, what bullshittery is this? I have so many bills right now and they are all medical. Was diagnosed recently with early onset dementia and can't afford to see the doctor until I can afford it. In the meantime I can't work or barely drive. What am I supposed to do? Hearing the bald eagle screech every time I unwrap a slice of American cheese. American here, fun fact. That stereotypical screech you commonly hear associated with the bald eagle is actually a red-tailed hawk, bald eagles do not make that sound. They make more of a weird, way less cool, chirping sound. I was too old when I learned this for the first time. They sound like seagulls to me. Why they don't include tax in the total price of something. Just include it and make life easier. I don't want to have to do maths every time I go there and buy something. As a general rule in America, the choice between make life easier or whatever businesses want, our government is likely to choose the latter. You are allowed to drive a car at 16, own guns and sign up for the military at 18. But alcohol, behold the devil's liquid, is only for 21 plus. There's a political history behind the drinking age. It used to be 18 not all that long ago. Lobbying. Legal bribery, what the hell. Also, why do you have to do your taxes? If the government, in the end, knows if what you paid was what you actually owed, why not just tell you? Funnily enough, both your points are related. There are many things that could be done to make filing taxes much easier, but big companies like HNR Block, who make their money from doing people's taxes for them have lobbied the government for decades to keep it so complex. Private health insurance that is tied to your employment. And sucks. And yet 50% of the population vehemently defend. It's so stupid. Ah yes I'll happily pay $200 plus of my paycheck for private insurance that covers nothing and I can't use. Wait, they'll raise our taxes or allocate different uses in my current tax expenditures. I'll pay $30 more in taxes for healthcare? What kind of communism is this bullshit? I hate it. I already pay down close to $100 a month in Medicare I can't even use. But people call it heresy to have some kind of government healthcare system for everyone. I'm no expert, but I almost guarantee that an option for government healthcare taken out in taxes each paycheck will be substantially less than private insurance. And hell, just make it an option. If you wanna opt out and keep private? Cool. Now private is competing with cheap government healthcare. It makes me so damn mad LMAO. You Americans seem to have both the smartest and the stupidest humans on earth coexisting in your country. I think that happens everywhere, we're just louder than other countries in the media sphere. Tell us in the comments what surprised you, have you had similar situations? Don't forget to subscribe and watch our other videos.